Good day everyone, my name is Benjamin Padre and today I'm going to present my creative brief. These are the contents, the campaign, target audience, my references, deliverables, and user testing. For my how might we question, my design problem, how might we help parents in managing their time while caring for their children. That's why we come up to our hypothesis and make the appear toolkit, an abbreviated term for assisting parents in routines. It is a human-centered approach in establishing routines for young children. For my design solution, a research kit to help parents and their 6 to 10 year old kids get on a regular healthy routine. And my target audience are 6 to 10 years old kids of working parents. And this is some of my target audience or stakeholders. And this is what they said, according to Mambula, iba ang self-esteem at confidence nila pati values pag nakasubaybay ang magulang lalo na sa character formation nila. According to Ma'am Sheila, bilang working at single parent, importanteng mapaglaanan ng oras at panahon ang pakikipag-usap sa anak. From my references, during my needs by the activity, this is a problem, have served enough. Working professionals with children juggle full-time childcare and work from home while trying to be as productive as possible. And my hypothesis, a routine toolkit will increase productivity and effectively manage time of the stakeholders. But before that, during this prototype production, just the limiting factors that I faced. Una una, that time, I finished my prototype as early as April 25. But during those times, I could not find any printing shop that could able to print my prototype because of the election period. Next, the budget. Being honest with you all, we can be part in the middle class. We are in, we're barely middle class. So putting the budget in order to build the prototype is very hard for me and to my family to produce. And next is... Access to parents. During those times, it's really hard to find parents that are willing to participate for my testing phase because some of them are worried that it could affect the welfare of their kids. So I respect those. So and pumili na lang po ng mga stakeholders that are willing to participate in my testing phase. My deliverables are the primer. First, my primer. Uh, second is my segmented calendar divided into morning, afternoon, and evening. Six activity cards, and checklist and assessment. For the primer, you have to put it on hold because uh, um, we would like to make a good connection to the parents. That way, mas madali namin maituro sa kanila kung paano gamitin yung toolkit. That's why we make it into an orientation instead rather than the primer so we could have um, a better connection with them. For my design principles, we make sure that the design is child-friendly and visually stimulating material. Um, the schedule and the activity cards are complete with colorful pictures and cartoons which explains what each card is for as well as the accompanying activities. Second, interactive and customizable content. The 9-piece sticker collection helps the child to customize a schedule with their parents or with their own liking. Third is assistive technology for vocabulary. Activity cards are written in Filipino with definition to promote vocabulary growth. So, hindi lang siya to promote routine, we also promote literacy. On first semester, this was my proposed idea of the toolkit or ideal mock-up of the toolkit. But with that limiting factors, I said, I came up producing the toolkit on the right side. Why? Um, first, the cost. Cut down the cost as about half because with this toolkit, it averaged around 300 to 350 pesos in production rather than using on the right side which cost um, 50 to 175 pesos per kit and also we make it much slimmer in order for them to stack it on their bookshelves um, these are the sample of the activity cards um, as you can see on the top row those are the front pages of the card that tells you what card it is and the bottom row shows you the definition and how to do the activity as you can see as I zoom um, you could see the activities um, the Tagalog word of it the English word of it and its definition and the guides for the child-led activities and the guide for the parent-led activity. Next of the derivables, the calendar alongside with the sticker set. Calendar segmented into three parts of the day. You have morning, afternoon, and evening. As you can see there's times on the left and there's the number of days on the top. This they could have an easy and much more interactive scheduling and also as I said earlier, because the calendar is interactive or flexible, you could write on the calendar in order for it, customize it more according to your needs. For my technological requirements, um, printer, drawing tablet, Adobe Friends, which is Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, etc. If you're going to ask me why do I need printer, the toolkit that I've used is 
um, printed in our house because of the inability of printing houses or publishing houses in order for me to continue the testing phase I have to print it myself and have to buy a printer <laughs> for that next is my visual requirement because I have six year old children and one year old kid the toolkit was served with the core four pins and an easy Filipino language and conversational tone the layout was created in a fun and playful style for my user testing testing period lasts between May 15 to May 25 and the demographic profile of my stakeholders are five children aged between 6 and 8 years old, working parents aged 34 to 40 years old, and all the participants live in the city of San Jose de Monte Bulacan. And this is some of the photos during the testing phase. It's very lovely to see that they are actually using the toolkit and doing the activity cards and customizing it by themselves. After the testing phase, I gave them an assessment um, questionnaires, and this became the general tone of the testing phase. First, the interpretation of child routine questionnaire. After a month of user testing between May 15 to May 25, the parents reinforced the children's cleanup or hygiene routine. Following of rules, limiting of time of daily fun activities. Second, interpretation of time management inventory. After testing out the toolkit, most parents leave contingency time in their schedule for the unexpected, grab spare bits of time in order to chip away relative complex tasks, and share plans and goals with others to increase accountability. And with that, um, thank you and appear tayo